Welcome, to make the previous slides, start with a solid background and extend to 8 seconds. Then add 7 video tracks in this case. After that, drag down a picture. Crop to fit and also extend to 8 seconds. Ensure the length matches the background. Now go to effect to apply the border effect. Then click the picture to go to effect. Adjust border size and blur as you see fit. Click image above, scroll down to apply the drop shadow, click projection, and adjust the distance to 1 and opacity to 40. Right click to copy the effect, then scroll up. Apply keyframe to transform, it will automatically apply to the rest, then scale up to 112. Now move playhead 5 frames forward or to 1 second. Apply keyframe to transform again, scale down to 60. Again, move the playhead 12 frames forward or to 3 10 seconds, only apply the keyframe to transform. Lastly move the playhead 3 frames forward or 4 seconds, then apply the keyframe to transform to scale up to 120 and type 1229 in position Y so that picture would animate to the top of the screen. Further click the keyframe panel, highlight all keyframe points, then right click to apply ease out. Now let preview. Click the second keyframe, then drag down another picture below, extend, and paste the effect copied earlier for border and shadows. Now click the picture. Apply the keyframe to transform. Only scale down to 60, then move the playhead 5 frames forward. Again, apply the keyframe to transform, then only change the rotation to 5. Move playhead 5 frames forward, then apply keyframe to transform and change rotation to minus 5. I had to go back quickly to the third keyframe to add a keyframe to transform. Move playhead 2 frames forward, then apply keyframe to transform and restore rotation to 0, and ensure it aligns with the key above. Again, move the playhead 3 frames forward and only apply keyframes to transform and move the playhead 3 frames forward again. Lastly apply keyframe to transform. Change rotation to minus 5, change scale to 120, then change position Y to 1280 for the picture to animate top out. Further click the keyframe panel, highlight all keyframe points, then right click to apply ease out. Now let preview. Right click to copy the effect. Drag down another picture and paste the effect. Now change the position of the last two keyframes with 3 frame interval. Now that the focus is on the rotation and position, click the second keyframe to change the rotation to 10. Then click the third keyframe to change the rotation as well to minus 10. And lastly, click the last keyframe to change the rotation to minus 10 and position Y to minus 1360 to animate bottom out. Further click the keyframe panel, highlight all keyframe points, then right click to apply ease out. Now let preview. Now copy the effect, drag down another picture, and extend and paste the effect. Now change the position of the last two keyframes with 3 frame interval. Again, the focus is on the rotation and position. Click the second keyframe to change the rotation to 15. Then click the third keyframe to change the rotation as well to minus 15. And lastly, click the last keyframe to change the rotation to minus 15 and position Y to 1465 to animate top out. Further click the keyframe panel, highlight all keyframe points, then right click to apply ease out. Now copy the effect, drag down another picture, and extend and paste the effect. Now change the position of the last two keyframes with 3 frame interval. Again, click the second keyframe to change the rotation to 20, then click the third keyframe to change the rotation as well to minus 20. And lastly, click the last keyframe to change the rotation to minus 20 and position Y to minus 1590 to animate to bottom out. 
Further click the keyframe panel, highlight all keyframe points, then right click to apply ease out. Now copy the effect, drag down another picture, and extend and paste the effect. Now change the position of the last two keyframes with 3 frame interval. Again, click the second keyframe to change the rotation to 25. Then click the third keyframe to change the rotation as well to minus 25. And lastly, click the last keyframe to change the rotation to minus 25 and position Y to 1620 to animate to top out. Further click the keyframe panel, highlight all keyframe points then right-click to apply Ease Out. Preview Click the second to last keyframe. Drag down a Mercury text title from text title and edit as you see fit. Go to text, click advance, and edit as shown. So the text is behind the last picture slide. It's okay, but you can further drag down the pink trend vlog overlay 06, extend it, and reduce its opacity to 30. Thanks for watching, you are awesome. Thank you.